So in our previous section, we have covered MVC fundamentals. In this video, we will implement CRUD operation for our make of vehicle. So if you look at the layout page, you can see by default ASP.NET Core 2.1 uses Bootstrap 3 library. I am not sure why Microsoft have decided to use this version in template while there was Bootstrap 4 already available at the time of this release. But from ASP.NET Core 2.2, Microsoft have included version 4 in MVC template. As I am using ASP.NET Core 2.1 for this training and Bootstrap 4 have better design classes, I am migrating this application to version 4. This will be helpful for you as well to understand that what are the changes required if you need to migrate Bootstrap to upper version in future. So let's migrate this application to Bootstrap 4. Go to the website getbootstrap.com. Select the latest version. At the time of this training, the latest version is 4.2. So if you are seeing different version at your end, I recommend you to select 4.2. Click on download button and extract the files. You can see two folder in this. One is CSS and another one is JS. Let's go to our project wwroot lib bootstrap list. You can see here also we have both of these folders. We have to copy our newly downloaded file into these folders. So open these folders in file explorer and copy the downloaded files and paste it in corresponding projects folder. Let's try to run the application and see what happened. Oh my god, everything has been displaced. Our menu and other format is now plunder. But don't worry, that is because our layout page is referring older version of Bootstrap. We'll fix it soon. Go to the layout page available in view, shared, and change the reference of Bootstrap URL to the new one. Copy it and press Ctrl H to find and replace. And replace from 3.3.7 to 4.2.1. And yep, it's updated. Now we need to update our navigation bar. Again, go to the Bootstrap site and click the documentation tab. Make sure you have selected the correct version of Bootstrap before clicking this. And search for navbar. Scroll down and you will see the sample navigation bar and code. Copy the code. Go to layout page. So I am commenting our old navigation bar. Make some space and paste the new code. Refresh the page and see how new navigation bar look like. Fine enough. Let's make some changes in this navigation bar as per requirement. I am changing navbar expand from large to medium. Navbar light to navbar dark. Background also dark. Let's refresh the page and it's now have dark background. As we want our navigation bar to be fixed at top. So adding fixed top. Refresh the page. Perfect. See if you are scrolling the page our navigation bar always appearing on the top of page. Let's make some more changes. Change the brand name to room. As we do not want buttons, let's remove this line. We do not want link as well. I would like to keep drop down menu because I am going to show various masters under this drop down list. 
let's rename the name of menu to master and change the underlying drop down list first one is mix second one is models i do not need divider so removing this also removing other items as we do not need those at present refresh the page perfect we do have two links one as brand name one as home page and there is also a drop down menu showing masters also let's remove this cookie consent let's remove our older navigation bar which we have commented good enough let's remove also this default content placed by microsoft go to the index page and remove all the content refresh perfect now we are ready to implement crud operation for make of vehicle So let's go to our make controller and remove all of our previous code that we added previously to understand fundamentals. We are going to implement action methods for create, update and delete the makes of vehicle in this video. Let's add index action method. This method will return a list of makes which we will render in a table in our view. When we need to implement crud operation, we need to use application db context. So as a convention, let's create a private variable of type roam db context. Control dot to add the namespace. Let's name it underscore db. You can name it whatever you want. We'll use this private variable in all of our action methods to retrieve the data from our database. Add a constructor to pass db context as dependency injection for our controller class. Use ctor that is code snippet to add the constructor. Press tab tab. Initialize our private variable underscore db equal to db. So we are all set to access our database using entity framework and next we will access our make table using this variable. Underscore db dot makes dot to list to convert the retrieved data into a list. So next we'll add the view for our index section and we'll create the markup to display the list of makes in tabular format. Right click on index method and select add view. Select empty template as we'll create it from scratch. Make sure layout page should be uh, selected. Click add. Declare at the rate model. Uh, this is used to access the properties of models passed from controller. As we have passed a list of makes in our action methods in make controller, uh, we will add to declare the type of model as a collection. So let's declare it as i enumerable. This is an interface uh, which support iteration over a collection of specified type. So we will pass our make class as parameter. Not it, we have to give the complete path with full namespace. Room.models.make. I'm adding some spaces using br tags and define a div of class row. Add another div, give it a size of column 6. 
and add the heading for this view give it a class text info and name it makes of vehicle add another div to add a button give it a size of column 6 and text align should be right add another anchor tag and give it a class btn btn info so that this link look like a button let's name it add new make next go to our layout page and add asp controller name equal to make and asp action equal to index for our menu so that when we click on that it call the make controller and index action let's build the application control shift b refresh the page and select make from drop down menu if i click add new button it will throw 404 error at present because there is no create action available in our controller we will create it soon but before that let's add a table to display the list of makes for our index page go to index page add some space using br tag and add one more div we will add table in this div add table set some classes to beautify it table table strip border add row tr class equal to table info to give it a look of header th in the first column of header we'll use html helper to display the labels in this header at the rate html dot display name for we will use lambda expression to give name property m goes to m dot name add another heading th to display edit and delete buttons to display the makes written by controller we will use for each loop at the rate for each where item in model m should be capital in this model and we will create markup in this loop we are using html helper to display makes at the rate html dot display for m goes to item dot name add another column to display our edit and delete buttons I'm adding static uh, value for now. I will replace it later with buttons. Edit, pipe, delete. Refresh the page. Our table has been populated with some makes. I already had inserted some demo data in our table from backend. At your end, you'll not get any data for now, so don't worry. Our table looking very small, so let's make more changes to make it bigger set column to 12 and align our text for button column to right refresh the page perfect ah i just realized i spelled davidson wrongly harley will get angry <laughs> so we have implemented our index section and view to display the list of makes uh, next we will add create action and view to add new makes to our database